The Mass is a great action, the greatest action that can be on earth. A quote from Cardinal Newman. Today's question is, what is the Utica May? King David, the Bible tells us, was once driven from Jerusalem by his son Absalom. Alone in the desert and filled with sorrow, he turned to God for help and comfort. Thou, O God, art my strength. Why hast thou cast me off? In the midst of his sorrow, he wrote a prayer that expressed his longing to serve God once again in his temple. I will go unto the altar of God. As well as renewed courage and confidence in God. To God who give the joy to my youth. The early Christians chose David's hymn of praise and petition as part of the Easter Saturday baptismal services and sang it during the procession when converts went to receive First Holy Communion. Hope thou in God, for I will yet praise him. The psalm thus became part of the mass of the catechumens. David's psalm expresses our own joy at the new spiritual life, That begins with baptism. As time went on, it became a private prayer said by the priest either in the sacristy or on his way to the altar. In 1570, Pope Pius V issued a bull and made the psalm an official part of the Mass. By church rule, the Gloria Patri, or Little Doxology, is said at the end of the recitation of the psalms. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Today's Catholic Fact was brought to you by sdkason.com, the free Catholic image gallery. Until next time, God bless and stay holy, my friend.